Hello everyone. In this video, we will look into the life of a sales and operations planner. Harry is a sales and operations planner. He started his day with reviewing the SNOP plan to check the plan output and exceptions. He opens the plan named SOP Demo Supplier 1 plan. While going through the supply review page, he found that there is a supplier capacity overload exception. He drilled down to find out the root cause. By drilling down to the supplier plan by month, he found that for some items the supplier capacity is overloaded. He raised this point in SOP meeting during the supply review phase and task was created accordingly to review and handle the exceptions. It was decided to increase the supplier capacity in order to meet the demand and decrease the capacity overload. After going through the link setup in the task, he directly jumps to the supplier plan by month page and as decided in the meeting, he adjusts the highlighted area where required supplier capacity is greater than available supplier capacity. After editing and saving the data, Harry will run the plan again in order to see the effect. So after rerunning the plan, he refreshes the supply summary page and finds that there is a decrease in capacity overload percentage. He decided to do the same with other key items as well by drilling down in the dashboard. After adjusting the supply capacity for key items, he rerun the plan. Once the plan is complete, he can notice the capacity overload is decreased significantly. Now as the exception is handled, he has to mark his task as complete. To do so, he will go to the planning cycle and mark the task as complete. Once all the changes are completed, he clicks on done. So this was a quick demonstration of using sales and operations planning effectively to overcome the challenges of SCM process. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, visit our website www.gazelle.in.